Hi there everyone, this is Joshua Causing, and I'm going to be showing you four designs that I'm going to be including in my portfolio. Uh, all of these pieces are created for classwork that I created here at TSDC. Uh, this first piece is a farmer's market flyer that I created in design communication in my first semester here at TSDC. It's actually one of my favorite design pieces that I've created here. Uh, the process of creating this flyer involved researching other flyers, specifically farmers markets and other like food uh, type style um, flyers. Uh, I sketched out potential layouts and this is the one that I finally chose. Uh, in terms of color, I went with a orange and blue color scheme. There's some nice pattern on the blue uh, to kind of separate that. Uh, in terms of layout, I wanted the viewer to be able to look from the top and travel all the way down the page uh, pretty well. Just something, a nice guide for the eye to follow. So I started off with, I used a ton of different layers with the shapes and different elements. Uh, as you can see, the sidebar of the neutral gray all the way down the page, and then the orange leading to the sidebar, for extending from the left side, kind of carrying yourself across the page for the nice uh, main heading of win every Thursday, 2 to 6 p.m. And that travels into the what, and all the way down the page. You get a nice visual of the produce, uh, and then always in the background, there's a nice neutral uh, wood to add to that natural farmer's market feel. And then you end with the wear. In the revision of this project, I had to go in and revise some of the produce, especially this produce image, uh, because there were some missing elements, like actually in the lettuce there were some missing elements and uh, a little bit around the different edges and different things. So I cleaned that up and I reworked the topography a little bit, uh, resized the images uh, and just made it made it more fitting. On to my second, or second project, I decided to go with a CD cover that I made in Digital Imaging 1. Uh, for Lincoln Park. Uh, so as you can see on the front side, we took their main logo, placed it there, and then I used the Minutes to Midnight album, and I tried to mimic the same topography as was on the, the original album cover. Uh, so in terms of the whole album, I tried to mimic the same style. I'm a huge fan of the work, and it was the same year that Chester Bennington actually passed away. So this was more of like a, it was kind of like a Memorative or uh, pay my respect kind of piece uh, to the band. Um, but I went through a bunch of different photo shoots and photos of the band, uh, picked out some nice ones. This photo was already grayscaled, so I just messed around with the adjustment layers in Photoshop, like brightness, contrast, and at the levels. And then I used a layer mask to take away some of the unnecessary parts of the logo. Onto the back side, uh, we paid attention to topography and I used the, the font Kenyan Coffee uh, for the song, song names and then I used a sans serif font, a nice sans serif font to uh, add the numbers. So and then obviously all the different information was actually uh, carried over from the original album given the barcode and different logos and websites and different things. In terms of the effect on the back, I used a threshold font uh, adjustment layer uh, for the background image and I touched it up with some brushwork uh, to make it more even and less, uh, just clean up the different, the effect that I created for the back. And uh, I think it was a really nice piece uh, for Lincoln Park. On to the third design, it's actually a stamp series that I created in Digital Imaging 2. Um, so it's called Breath of Life, and I do I used four different images that I took in Fundamentals of Photography. So in Photoshop, I took these different images, and to actually get the desired look that I wanted to, like this illustrative feel, I went into the filter gallery and chose the cutout effect, which applied this illustrative um, kind of rough edge type of style, and I used that throughout the different images. In terms of the framing for them, I uh, went in and chose the different colors within each image um, to use for the framing 
and even the font choices. Uh, in terms of the font, I wanted kind of like a fun or kind of like a nice script font, but not too, uh, just the font that I chose was called Cook It, and I think it really represented what I was going for and the different in the style that I was going for. Um, so as you can see, it's just a nice, um, clean, illustrative feel. And there is my stamp series. And on to the fourth design. It's actually a movie poster that I created in Digital Imaging 2 as well uh, for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Uh, the process of creating this was actually coming up with the lightsaber initially. Um, inside Photoshop, it took 22 layers uh, to create one of the lightsabers. And then obviously I just duplicated them and changed the hue, as you can see, to the the, the blue and the the red, blue, and green, as you can see, as seen in Star Wars, the different lightsabers. Um, the background, I used a subtle light blue uh, to not draw away from the main design. And then I added an accent uh, circle with a nice gradient to add some depth to the design. And then I added the, the Star Wars Oracle at the bottom and applied a gradient to it. So those are my four designs. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And thank you.